Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Or should I say one of my next Let's Plays? This is Super Mario Land. This is a widely overlooked Game Boy game. Uh, widely overlooked by, uh, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, which, to be honest, is an amazing game. Which, to be honest, it deserves to be overlooked by. I mean, have you seen the difference? It's unbelievable, the differences. Um, basically this game is... You are in this weird other kingdom where this other princess called Daisy has been kidnapped by, I'm pretty sure, an alien. Yeah, an alien. But I don't know why that's weird, because, I mean, our princess is always kidnapped by a fucking dinosaur slash turtle thing, so what am I saying? Um, but basically, this is just your average Game Boy game. It's not really that great, but it's not really that bad either. It's average. Um, the reason I'm doing a Let's Play of it, if it's so average, is because I wanted to do all of the Mario Land games. Um, I really, really wanted to do Wario Land because I love that game. I haven't beaten it, but I already love it. It's it's so good. It's it's so good. But um, yeah, I wanted to do them all in a sequence, though. So here you are. Here's the first of the three, maybe even like six or something, because. If I do Wario Land, you can't just stop at Wario Land. You gotta go to Wario Land 2, and Wario Land 3, and the cycle continues. Oh no! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's that's basically the reason why I'm playing this right now. Wario Land. Um, the reason I'm so fixated on Wario Land right now is because I recently got it for the Nintendo eShop on the 3DS. Um, that's also where I first saw this game. But I'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, I've been playing Wario Land for a while, and... God, that is a good game. I'm at, like, the fourth world, and I already know that I want to do a Let's Play of it. So, I'm jumping the gun, and I'm playing this game. But, back to, uh, Super Mario Land 2. Uh, I played that game as a child. Uh, it was my friend's game, actually. Uh, it was one of the two first games I ever played along with Pokemon Gold, which was my sister's. We'll get to that in a minute, too. But, uh... Yeah. I really wanted to do... I I, I loved Super Mario Land 2. Uh, but I... I never really noticed that it was called Super Mario Land 2, because as, like, a four-year-old, you're just like, Super Mario Land 2! <laughs> well, at least I was. I was probably a really weird child, I apologize. Fuck! Um, there's the first death of the game. Uh, I was really weird as a child, yeah. Um, and I just noticed recently... Wait. It's called Super Mario Land 2. That means it's a sequel. Holy dick. So... Yeah. I recently looked up... This game. Super Mario Land, the original. And... I wouldn't say it's great it's it's a game for sure but it's not the best game uh we just beat world one by the way there's three levels in each world and uh we just beat the first one Alright, sorry for not talking, but I love that music. Oh! Alright, this is World 2. Uh, I lost my train of thought. You can jump on the skeleton fish, which I found out in a failed recording. Why can you jump on the skeleton fish? I mean, you can't hit them with fireballs, but you can jump on them? With their open mouths? What the fuck? Wait, can you go down this pipe? <gasps> you can! I never knew that. That's mainly because I suck at this game, so... 
Well, I, I suck in the game. Oh. Um, so where was I? I was talking about, oh. I was talking about Maryland 2. You know, I first played it. And, you know, I forget. But let's get to Pokemon Gold. That was the other first game I played. Um, uh, and it was my sister's. She played the shit out of it as a little kid, and it kind of passed on to me, uh, but basically, she was a pro at that game, she was like full hardcore pro, so, she was, one day she was just like, like Ryan, you gotta play this shit, this, it's amazing, Ryan, and I was like, I, I bet it is, and she was like, yeah, it, it is, I just, I just said that. And, to be honest, it was. But basically, she had all these great Pokemon, and then she had the Master Ball. And the upcoming story is probably the actual reason why she doesn't play video games anymore. Because of this one action that I accidentally did as a four-year-old kid. I basically took that Master Ball, and I uh, might have used it on Eradicate. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... And she raged. Compl she, like, completely flipped shit. So... She doesn't play games anymore, sorry. About that, Jennifer. I'm so, I'm so sorry. But, uh... Continuing on from that, Pokemon Gold was the other first game I played. And, fuck. Yeah, one of the first games I ever played. Uh... And it was actually the reason that I got into video games. Uh... When I was five, I got a Game Boy Advance. Uh, which still holds up today as one of my favorite games game consoles even if it's handheld it was still great um and yeah along with the Game Boy Advance I got Super Mario World which I was I had only played Super Mario Land at the time so when I first played World I was like whoa it's so much better and to be honest it is and I gotta do a Let's Play of that sometime. But right now, let's stick to Mario Land. But still talking about Mario World. Um, so, I played Mario World, and also its sequel, Mario World 2, on the Game Boy Advance for the first time. Yeah, really weird. Another one of these rooms? Is there a room, like... Oh, sneaky. Wait, is that an infinite block? It is. Well, that's not infinite. Okay. That's still a lot of coins. So... Yeah, Mario World was the other first game I played. Uh, and then I got Pokemon Ruby. Which, in my opinion, is better than gold. Which may be why you're seeing Pokemon Emerald as m one of my Let's Plays. Alright, last level of World 2. Okay, we got this. We'll get the mushroom. Okay. I always found this level really weird. I, I love this level, but, like, what the fuck is happening? Where do you get- Where'd you get the submarine? Why are all the fish out, to out for blood? And, uh... Wait, why did that fish swim up? Why do the seahorses want to kill you? Why? Why? And don't even get me started on the jellyfish that come up through this level. I mean, right there. What the fuck? No, they're not jellyfish, they're octopus. Why do they split into two balls of destruction when you, you kill them? Why? Just... Just why? I, I'm not even gonna... I'm not... I'm done. I'm not asking anymore. Let's just finish this this world and end off the video. To be honest, let's just do that. Oh, no! Alright, let's continue. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys listen to this music because I absolutely... Fuck! Alright, I absolutely love this music. Listen to this. It's great.
Oh, and here's the boss. This is a much more difficult boss than the other one. I, I'll say that. That's that's a, that's a given. But uh, basically, there's two ways you can beat this boss. You can actually kill it, or you can just go to the underside right there. Whoa! Fuck. I think I'm gonna try to take on the underside of those by destroying those little blocks right there. That's what I'm gonna do. Like that. And basically you got it done now. It's a lot easier, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier. So, there we go. We have beaten the second world of Super Mario Land without a failed recording this time. Do you know how many times I've, I've done failed recordings? Do you know how many? I'm probably gonna make a blooper video out of that. That's how many. It's like, maybe five times. I fail so hard. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy! Too bad she's an octopus! Why am I making that sound? Bonus game! Alright, let's go. Alright, one extra life. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.